Welcome along to the first of our daily Cheltenham video news bulletins. Every day at around this time, we're going to be bringing you all the latest news that's breaking in the run-up to the festival, which is, of course, now just 12 days away. And the big news today concerns the going. Um, there's been a lot of money for soft ground now. Everyone always assumes it's going to be good to soft. That's been the case for the last number of years. But it's now only six to four that it is soft. And Simon Clays is saying it could easily be. It's just been so wet this winter. Obviously, you can see now from behind me, we've got snow everywhere, everywhere. But that's due to melt. And it may well be the first soft ground Tuesday for a long, long time. And if that is the case then one bookmaker believes that Native River could start favourite for the Gold Cup. That's been absolutely rubbish by our own Pietro Inocenzi, the live tips, who says that the only way Native River can possibly be favourite if it is an absolute bog. But Native River is the horse that the bookmakers think could be the one for money if the ground stays really, really soft. What else is happening today? Well, Steve Mason, our very respected jumps handicapper, our senior guy there on RPRs, he's come up with his potential handicap good thing for the festival. And it is, sorry, I need to look at my screen because it's so hard to pronounce this. Oistrak Le Noir, trained by Ben Pauling for Simon Muneer and Isaac Swade. That one runs in the Fred Winter. He thinks that's got a decent chance. And we spoke to the odds makers and they say that because the snow is on the ground, there's no racing. The punters are really getting stuck into these handicaps. Obviously, the weights have just been published. They are saying there's a lot of money flying around. If you need some help deciphering the handicaps and indeed all the winners, you need this. It's the Cheltenham Ultimate Guide. It's out tomorrow and it is absolutely fantastic value. We'll be back around about this time tomorrow with more Cheltenham news.